Welcome to Electro Online. Now this is the problem that we did in the previous video, but now what we're trying to find out is the force applied to the ceiling. How much weight is hanging down from the ceiling with this whole system hanging there, including the force needed to keep everything in place. And at first you might say, well, let's see here, we have the tension T pulling down this way, and we have the tension 3 pulling down this way, and then here we have tension 3 and tension 3 here, so if we double that, that would be the tension there, we add them all up, you get the force, but that would be wrong. We need to do one more free body diagram in order to do it correctly. We need to put a free body diagram, and let me use a different color, so we don't get confused here. So let's draw another free body diagram over here, in order to find the tension over here, let's call this tension T4. And so we have the tension T4 pulling up downward, we have the T3 pulling this way, T3 pulling this way, but we also have the weight of the pulley, which is W over 2. Which means that trying to find T4, we need to do the following. The, oh, let's do it this way, the sum of all the forces in the Y direction add up to zero. So pulling upward we have T4, pulling downward we have uh, two T3's but we also have the weight of the pulley and that adds up to zero. Remember we're ignoring the moment of inertia of the pulleys, we just simply have, tell, say that we have weight on the pulleys. Alright, that tells us that uh, T4 is going to be equal to a half a W plus 2 times T3. Now T3 was discovered last time to be 9 eighths W, so that means T4 is equal to W over 2 plus 2 times T3, which is 9 over 8 W, which means that T4 is equal to W divided by 2 plus 9 over 4 W, and so T4 is equal to that gives me 4W, oh, no, 2W, 2W over 4, plus 9W over 4, which is 11W over 4. So now we have T4 as well, and we can then say that the weight on the ceiling, the weight on the ceiling is now going to be equal to the tension T on this string, plus tension 3 on this string, plus tension 4 on that string. And so that is equal to, tension is 3 quarters 3w over 4, plus tension 3, which is 9 over 8w, plus tension 4, which is 11 over 4w. Common denominator is 8, so that will be equal to 6w over 8, plus 9w over 8, plus 22w over 8, add that together, that's 28, that would be equal to 37w over 8. And so that is the weight on the ceiling. Okay, now, does that make sense? Let's add up all the weights and see what we get. So, we end up with uh, w plus w, so we have two w's, plus three half w's plus the force by which we pull which is 9 over 8 w. Putting all that over the same common denominator so this is a check right we're going to check by adding up all the weights we have two w's to add up and we have three w over two to add up and in addition to that the force by which we pull down and we should end up with the same number so let's see if we do if we get that so this is equal to uh, over 8 that would be 16 w over 8 plus 4 that would be 12 w over 8 plus 9 w over 8 and so that gives us 28 plus 9 or 37 w over 8 so indeed uh, if you add up all the weights plus the force by which you pull down, add all that together, we should have had the same result as the weight on the ceiling by simply adding up the three tensions. So it looks like, since we got the same answer, we probably did it correctly, and that is how it's done.